Hi, this is TJ from SmokescreenDesign.com, and I'm just coming to you today to uh, bring an update on the spreadsheet that I've been working on. And this just has some different formulas, just easy to use. Uh, putting these together, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be putting this on uh, my website. And the first uh, formula we have over here is determining the curvature of the Earth, and this determine so if you're at point P which pretty much you're always at since you're on a ball even though supposedly it's not a perfect ball but yet all NASA's photos even their latest one shows that we are besides the point you're always going to be at the top of the sphere no matter where you are because well that's what gravity does always makes you believe you're at the top so gravity is just a deceiver likes to lie to you and when you are trying to figure out another point on this round globe, then what you want to do is run this formula. So you're at P. Um, object number two is going to be right down here. And we're going to calculate. So for example, one mile out is eight inches of curve. So if you're standing here, object's one mile out then you're going to have eight inches of curve, not very much. Um, and most of these formulas are based on Pythagoras. So then you've got, uh, let's say if the object is, let's say three, because we'll talk about the horizon. Horizon tends to be around three miles out. So three miles out, about as far as you'll see, then it's six feet. So we've got inches, we've got feet, and we have miles. So at three miles, it's about six feet of curve. So we'll see six foot drop. And if you go up to 100, then you've got 1.2 miles, 1.3 miles of curve, which is pretty significant. We we're just I was just talking to my wife about this. Um, we're in Kansas City, Topeka, 62 miles away from us. And 62 miles away, there is 2,562 feet of curve, which is pretty significant. 2,562 feet of curve. That's, that's a pretty huge curve. And we are talking about that, and she's like, there's no way there's that much curve going to Topeka. No way. We've, we've driven it there's no way you can't feel that absolutely no way um, so this is just for determining the curve this is not for your line of sight or for your horizon so this would be ground level to ground levels um, which also is a little difficult to determine because the ground is not perfectly flat every single direction you have hills uh, you have mountain you have rocks um, so on short distances, you can't just say, well, a mile away, I should see an 8-inch difference. You actually could see uh, a bigger difference than that, just depend on the lay of your land. Now, this one here is the distance to the horizon. So if um, you want to enter your height and feet, so let's say I'm um, 5 foot 8. I don't know what that would be. I could do five and a half feet, which would be like five, six, which my um, my eyes are you know a couple inches below my actual height, so that would probably be about right. So my sight to the horizon should be 2.8 miles. And they say I think it's about just a little over three for six, so at six feet, it's three miles. So you just put in your height there and feet, and that's going to tell you the horizon that you should be able to see. And again, this is seen to the horizon, not seen objects in the horizon, because then that adds into the, your line of sight to the object, and we'll get into that. And your, your horizon could be blocked by other things. It could be buildings. It could be trees. It could be hills. There's a lot of things that can block your horizon that would make that shorter. Uh, let's see here. 
So then this one we have is the distance to the moon. Could also be distance to the sun. Um, so the distance between two points. So say you have person A, person B. Um, you measure the distance between those two. In this particular case, you know, this example came from Red Rhetoric where him and um, Turkey Cat, Turkey Cat, basically measured their distance and it was 2,351 miles from his house to her house and he measured the moon which was 90 degrees she measured the moon where she was at and it was 55.4 degrees and then adding those together subtract from 180 gives the last degree inside of the triangle which was 34.6 and then you run the formula which is x equals d over tangent parallax which came out to show that the moon is 3,409 miles away. So if you plug in the distance between you and another individual and then you measure the degree from you up to the object whether it's the sun, the moon, whatever and then another individual they do the same thing you plug that in and then oh, I already have the formula here so it'll put in that third degree for you and give you the distance to that object in the sky looks like to me that the sun is probably the same distance as the moon I haven't checked on that and then the last one I have over here this is for line of sight so if you are trying to look at an object in the distance then uh, it takes a little different formula than looking in the horizon or just measuring the curve and seeing if you should be able to see it or not so we have your height and then we have um, the object's height so say like you're standing on a beach and you're looking at the um, and you're looking at a distance and you see a ship so let's again say 5.5 and let's say the ship is 25 foot high and that depends are we looking at the very top of the ship maybe there's like a, a sail pole or maybe it's just the top of maybe where cabins are maybe it's the top of the hull, the base um, so that's where you have to determine what part of the object are you looking at and then you put that in and if I was five uh, five and a half feet and then the objects 25 feet then I uh, should be able to see the object about nine miles out. So that's the line of sight where how far out I should be able to see something given it is clear. Now if I'm five and a half feet up and say I'm standing on top of a sand dune that's three feet that actually would put me at 8.5 feet or if there's a hill or maybe there's a dock. So this is going to be above that sea um, that above that measurement of the water since the other object is going to be on the water as well so that actually would make me up higher or if I was on top of a lighthouse or something like that so you want to make sure whatever you are standing on that if it increases your height you want to add that so if I was standing on a three foot hill that would put me at eight and a half feet for a 25 foot object then that would mean at 9.69 miles out I, sh I should be able to see the object before it starts to disappear. So that's for a line of sight there is a difference I know some people can't figure it out that there's a difference between line of sight distance to the horizon and measuring curvature um, kind of talking about the ball earth people who keep telling me that my figures are wrong but the keep talking about line of sight when I'm talking about measuring curvature so this is um, available for you to download uh, downline, download at smokescreendesign.com if you click on the navigation button for earth you can download this um, to use if you see any issues please let me know um, like the inches to feet should be fine and I just fixed the miles because I had that uh, wrong in the formula so now that is accurate feet to miles are now right okay
Um, thanks a lot and hope you enjoy using this.